Hey guys, how's it going? Angus here from Maker's Muse. So, in the last video I did, I compared ABS and PLA and showed their strengths and weaknesses. And if you have an up, you might have noticed that neither of these plastics were up brand coloured plastics. So, yes, the Green Shark with eight was ABS. You guys are really clue cluey. Um, you're absolutely right, the Green Shark was ABS, the uh, red one was more glossy. But uh, what you notice is this is not up brand green, this is a different green. So printing other brands ABS on UPS has traditionally been quite difficult because of the temperature difference that the UPS print at, but not anymore, and this is why. So I browsed the PP3DP forum quite a bit, and this is it's actually a pretty good forum considering that this machine is a Chinese sort of 3D printer. And this idea of having a software temp mod has been thrown around quite a lot over the years, but no one's actually done it till now. So Mr. X and Forsaken are two users on this forum that have actually created this up hack, and they've actually got their code up on GitHub for free. So go on GitHub. If you search for fix up 3D, that's their hack. And it's really simple to use. You just download the file, which is a DLL file, and just drops right into your up folder. So Download it, grab it from your downloads folder, downloads, win USB, and then go to your up software, so it'll be under up, and you just drop it in like that, yes. What I've gone ahead and done is I've actually made two copies of up, so I've got the regular up and I've got the hacks edition. So this is how it works, fire up the software with a DLL file in it, so I've called it the hacks edition, just to avoid confusion. And this is the new window that pops up. So what this is letting you do is you can now change temperatures, layer heights, speeds, everything down to the number that you exactly want. So it's no longer ABS settings where it's printing at 260, 270 degrees. It's now a setting you can define. So layer one traditionally would be quite high. So let's make it, you know, 270, then drop it down to 260. And this last number, layer 3 plus, is once it's starting to build past the raft and starting to build the part, that's where it's usually around 260, 270. But that's too high for generic ABS, it actually makes it melt too much and stick to the raft too much. So, with this stuff, this is X3D uh, ABS filament, I dropped it down to 220. And it worked perfectly. So, this software alone has freed the ups. And it's just opened up the possibilities to use pretty much any filament you like, you're not locked down to their brand filament. Which is pretty good, because the Australian dollar is so bad now that up brand filament's about $80 for 700 grams. 80 bucks for less than a kilo of plastic, it's it's ludicrous, whereas this stuff is like 45 for a kilo, and that's, you know, sale price. You can get even cheaper uh, filament on eBay. And now you can actually change these um, settings directly, so that's awesome. So there's also the layer height changing, and I haven't really experimented too much with this. It's kind of finicky, and you will end up with quite some a lot of fails if you drop the layer thickness down. But what I've got here is a uh, 100 uh, micron layer height print. So this is on the Up Mini at 100 microns. It's okay. There's a bit of sort of burning, smearing, and the support raft you know, didn't really pull away. That just comes down to tweaking settings because now you've got access to them. It's a bit more like a rep wrap. It's not going to work first time. You have to sort of hack it and tweak things to make it um, do what you want. So the reason I love the ups and the reason I always recommend them is the software is so easy to use. You just hit print and it goes. So that's pretty much why I did like a hack edition and a normal edition because I still buy the branded filament for ups. Like it works flawlessly. You just hit print and walk away. It's that's why they're so good. But what this hack does now is lets you use different filaments and really get into the guts and experiment and actually give you a bit more advanced features to what you'd normally have on the UPS. So, you know, they only have a few different colours, for example. The UP brand doesn't come in purple. So you might want to print it purple or pink. And then so you load that um, aftermarket ABS in and then change the temperatures to match. So yeah, 220 works pretty well. I've tried 240. It's also pretty good, you know, with this shark. It just, it breaks away like the regular up does, up stuff does. Okay. It's just as simple as that. It comes away. It's only been made possible with these temperature reductions in the hack. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. 
And I really appreciate it, Mr. X and 4 Seconds' efforts doing this hack. It has saved my life in terms of printing all these machines with different filaments. Because, yeah, the plastic that upsells is really expensive. And it's okay. I can understand that they're selling a quality product. You want to buy a quality filament. But the price they're asking now, $80 for 700 grams, is just, it's too high. So this hack lets you really get into the guts and play around with your machine. And it's lots of fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this. I'll link to um, the GitHub and the forum thread in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I really enjoy showing you tips and tricks like this. And thanks again for watching. See you around here on Makers Weeks. Bye.